three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. Hey guys, this is going to be the opening to the vlog, and um, we have a couple of clips from the Halloween party that we went to tonight, uh, but we didn't record much. We were playing some games outside, and um, it was too dark. The videographer got cold, she went in, and so she just went inside. But we were doing like this zombie scavenger hunt thing, which was a lot of fun, um, but we were just running around outside in the dark, and these cameras wouldn't have shown anything. Yeah. Hmm? Well, I came out there looking for you, cause I went inside and hung up with the with the people who didn't want to do the thing. So anyway, I was in there with them, and so I'm like, well, I'll go check in. So I go outside and looking around, like, where are they? I couldn't see them. I had no around. idea where they were. Yep, we were running around. Uh, so it was a scavenger hunt where each envelope from the scavenger hunt had a zombie trivia question in it and but you had really to too bad that you got turned into a zombie like right off because I know I thought I was gonna be the secret weapon and nope. didn't have I got turned into a zombie so one of the people who was playing the game started out as a zombie and I'm gonna get some lights going and the rest of us were one big team that had to answer zombie trivia questions to figure out where to go next. So it was all multiple choice questions and the correct answer had a number next to it and you'd use that number to get your clue to go to the next area. We had this grid of clues. And then you just had to go point to point trying to find the uh, next question which would be if you got the answer right and found where it was. Um, so then the zombie team, there were zombie envelopes scattered all over the place that just had pictures of zombies on them, and you opened it up and it had somebody's name on the inside, and when you, oh, when you got someone's name, they became a zombie and joined the zombie team, so you got more and more people looking for the zombie envelopes, and it, it was a lot of fun, it came down to the humans ended up surviving, but there was only one person left, so we got everybody except for one person. Um, and we failed to find anything, but I'll go back and just show what the two little clips that we did have from tonight, uh, and then we'll be back here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, listen to me. This is the first question. You need to know this. Okay, Becca has her. I have a flashlight in the house. Which of these best describes how zombies pursue their prey? Superhuman strength, 31. Short bursts of speed when prey is spotted, but they otherwise shuffle about searching for victims. 45, running after their prey tirelessly. 22, tirelessly shuffling after their prey. As a group, as a group which one? 31. About the smoke. Who asked the vote? Vote on the first one. Yes. No, I thought that I don't know what number Do we want to vote? Number 22. Who wants to vote 22? Tirelessly shuffling after their prey. That one, I'll take the one. Definitely that one. Real zombie shuffle. It's not my fault. Derek's got his hand up. I don't you think want... it is, only because Audrey kept picking that one when she was explaining it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. It's I'm reading this. that one. <laughs> 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 do they? Okay. How do they pursue, their prey? How do they pursue yeah. their prey, people? 22. 22. No. All right. 22. No, you no, need no. to look for the envelope. 22. Okay, look look on now. your locator right now. Where the heck is right now? Grandparents' corner. Oh, let's <laughs> No, he's just in his own element out there. <laughs> this is <laughs> all his friends. No, I haven't yet. There we go. He has it. No, not yet. No, we've taken her out to camp a couple of times. She uh, had to go to the vets the other day. Oh, right. oh wow. Well, she got really sick and was vomiting. That is scary. Blah, blah, blah. They think that, they think that she ate a toad. 
Seriously? Yeah, seriously. A toad? And they're po poisonous. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Like to, a a, to a dog. <laughs> toad. Toad, like a toad. Oh, it's just a toad. Oh. Why is that? What 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 is that? Oh, so now that we're home, we're letting the girls out because they've been home for a little while. We got them outside earlier when I got home from work, but then as soon as Jess got home, we uh, came out here. So I think this is where we've got Jessica's graves that have kind of been blown around a little bit by the wind and rain. But we're going to stack those back up, I think, and uh, put some ghosts in here tomorrow light those up we've got some ghost steaks and maybe some pumpkins over here depending on what we've got for cords gonna kind of analyze that situation and get some more halloween decorations going where we live we're probably not going to get any trick-or-treaters but we're going to kind of make the place nice and bright just just in case we attract anyone um but the places where we've lived in the past we've never really gotten any huge amounts of trick-or-treaters so it's not anything new to us but Girls have wandered off somewhere. Here comes one. Are you done? Or you still need a little bit of time outside. She'll go back out again. That's Molly's thing. She'll come inside after going to the bathroom and then be like, wait, I gotta go just check the perimeter one more time just to make sure everything's on the up and up. So guys, my new favorite thing, oh, which apparently I'm the only person on the planet who hasn't seen this before, is I guess every year Ellen on her show uh, sends her producer through a haunted house you were familiar with this, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I hadn't seen them until this week, so I watched a couple of them, and then yesterday she put out part one of this year's, and it was her producer and uh, Eric Stonehart from The Modern Family, and so she put out part two today, which is them going through another one, and we were hoping that it was going to be... Uh, the woman. The woman who's the been... Woman. In the, I don't know. It's Amy or something. And then Sofia Vergara with mm -hmm. her. Because in the past, uh, Ellen used to send this woman that worked for her. And then she, and then started, she started sending, sending both the, of them. Both the woman and the producer. And so yesterday when we saw the producer going through, we were like, oh, tomorrow's going to be the Part woman. going to be the woman with a different modern family. And we were like, hopefully it's Sofia Vergara. And no. It's not that. Um, that's alright. This one should be good too because the other guys are really funny. Mm -hmm. I love the producer. He's like, I saw you. You can't do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> enough, enough. Okay, I saw you. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. Uh, Definitely recommend it. If you you got me it. once. But yes, if you haven't seen the Ellen Haunted House videos, <laughs> I highly recommend looking them yes. up because they've made me chuckle. They're quite hilarious. See, guys, I told you. Back outside. Let's see our little routine. And here she comes back. And now she's done for the night. You happy now? Bedtime? Then once she goes out twice, she's good to go. Or she's good to go to bed. It's nightly tradition now. We thought we were being... I don't know what I was going to say. Usually we're pretty good about Halloween. We love Halloween and we have like costumes and stuff. But this year, having a baby and stuff, we did, just did not didn't make happen. that happen. Didn't happen. Plus, without the roller rink, we didn't have, like, anything particular to dress up for. Mm. Yeah, we don't have, like, a big Halloween event this year because we just have maybe a couple people coming out. Yeah. Low-key Halloween this year. Everybody getting all settled in. To new houses and new jobs and new babies and all that stuff so but that's all right we've already started planning for next year we decided like this year we're gonna be on top of things make it yep. happen we already have our costume ideas yep did some brainstorming but that's a topic for another day but for now uh we've got to head to bed but thanks for watching today guys hope you enjoyed and as always, we'll be back with another video for you tomorrow on Halloween. But until then, bye guys. Bye guys. Beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening. And together make a beautiful life.
And if you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right And if you want a good tomorrow, it's pretty simple, got a pint of life to follow And if you do, you have future real bright And it's a combination of consistency, come on, it's ain't